when you from the small village like I am, you do just do it here in the house. <laughs> and before you know, you have a business right in the garage. Dominican Republic, it's the easiest thing to take to, to gravitate to. That you are near a roller from the beginning to the end. The minute you're born, oh, here's the roller. I remember my mother stomping her feet, doing hair, and she'd be like, I don't see that five more minutes, I'll be right with you. And she was like, it was unbelievable. I was born in Santiago. Yeah, that's the second city of the Dominican Republic, but in Santiago. But not in the city of Santiago, it's a small town they call it Saban Iglesia. Saban Iglesia is a commune, it's, it's like a village. It's, it's a small and it's only two straight. But my grandmother, she used to get here in the town and have town home. She takes such a big sister and I said, oh my God, what's she gonna do with that? You know, we didn't have those styling scissors to do haircut. Before, I was like maybe 11 or 10 years old. I took the scissors and I did the same thing for one of my cousins. And I did a good job for her. When she was little, she used to do hair. She was very good when she was little. She was good. Here I am following in those exact footsteps. and it's. Unreal. Unreal. I am a first generation American and Dominican descent. I've been a hairstylist for 17 years. Uh, it started off with my mother and I grew up watching my mother doing hair. So my mother was very against me doing hair. She wanted me to be a doctor, anything but hair. She had a, lo you know, a tough life. She had to work all the time. She worked very hard for us, you know, and I knew, I mean, I remember calling her all the, well, when are you coming home? Not now, I got eight more clients. I'm like, my God, when are you coming home? I chose to do hair that was 1973, and why? I think that was one of the best options to do hair in, in a way that I was, that I could be my own boss, you know, make my own money have my own business, and that's what I choose to be a, a hairdresser. And that time they call it beauticians. Having your own business, that was the, the good thing. But to have, have all the bills was a little difficult. Why? Because in that time, you don't charge much money. You had to do something else to be able to manage and pay all the bills, like selling clothes, like I used to do, sell clothes, you know. and. That's one of the best ways for me in that time. I used to work seven days. From, especially on, sa on Saturday, and I used to get up, I used to start at 8 o'clock, sometime to 10 p.m. That was, that was hard. Wow. Stop it. <laughs> so, it was difficult. And she was afraid it was gonna be that way for me. I think the smaller salons is what got me to the bigger salon. Being in a smaller salon with my mother, seeing her work really hard to give us a life all by herself is very inspirational. And having a lot of mom and pop salons, and you couldn't get an appointment and you sat there for hours to get a roller set, the shampoo and, the, and el bochinche. Right? Everyone talking and I'm like, oh my god, is it time to go? But it was it was amazing being brought up in that kind of environment. And then having my mother protest and say, No, you can't do this. This this will kill you, right? And then making it to an amazing I mean to the top. I've won. I feel good.